Welcome, and thank you for taking a few minutes to see just how simple it is to complete your 1099 e-filing using the ACA W2 1099 preparer from Matrix. Once you have downloaded our free software, simply click on the icon in your desktop, and you will be presented with the opportunity to file Affordable Care Act, W2, or 1099s. In this case, we're going to do 1099s, so we would simply select 1099, the type of 1099 we are e-filing, and go next. You will then select the method of importing your data. You can import your 1099 recipient data from an electronic 1099 miscellaneous data file, or most commonly, you will import your 1099 recipient data from a CSV file. Atrix provides a CSV template that you can use in order to simplify the mapping process. You will then be presented with the Atrix mapping tool, which allows you to move the data that you have uploaded from your CSV file directly to the W2 form. For example, you simply click on the last name, move it into the appropriate box, click on the first name, simply move it to the appropriate box. You'll repeat this process for each column you have in your CSV file. Once complete, you can click Mapping Complete. You have the opportunity to test drive the 1099 process at any time in order to get comfortable with it before you do your actual filing. You can do this with 25 of your recipients. You can do your entire recipient file. Or in this case, we're going to go ahead and start filing. So I click no thanks. We're going to verify the EIN that you have for your company and that you're filing with the appropriate company. We're going to ask you if you have multiple files for this filing. If you do, if you have multiple locations and you have two different files, you can do that. You can complete them separately, and then they will be merged at the end. In this case, we're using a single file. You'll be presented with a quick form to update your company information. The IRS wants to know if you are filing on behalf of someone else or filing for your own company. If you are a third-party tax preparer, you'll be asked a couple of more questions they want to be able to identify you. In this case, filing for my own company. This screen will confirm your state and local tax items, ID and numbers that you need to have in order to file. In this case, we're only filing for one state. If you have multiple states, there will be multiple listings. You do have the option to deliver 1099s electronically. If you have any that have opted to do so, click yes. In this case, we're going to print and mail each copy. For security purposes, uh, you have the ability to truncate recipient identification numbers. Choose your method if you wish. Otherwise, just move forward. Atrix has now loaded your 1099 data into our grid. Looks like a spreadsheet, acts like a spreadsheet, it's a spreadsheet. You have the opportunity now to verify the information that you have loaded and or make any edits that are necessary. We'll begin by verifying recipient taxpayer ID numbers. You can see that those are highlighted in blue and you can verify that those are correct or you can simply go next. Next, you'll simply identify whether the recipient is a TIN or FEIN. If it's an FEIN, you check the box. You now have the opportunity to verify names and addresses. Once in a while, somebody will get married, you forgot to make the change, and it will come to your attention while you're going through this process. You'll then verify all of the income boxes that came over for each box, box one through however many boxes you have. There is a slide control at the bottom. You can see that there are totals on the top this gives you the opportunity to verify complete column totals without having to scroll to the bottom. You verify that you are filing for the correct states. You may have more than one. In our case, we simply have one. You'll then verify this, the state income and the amount of tax that has been withheld. Once you've completed your review, you'll then be presented with the selection of the level of service you'd like. Obviously, the complete 1099 e-file service is the option that makes the most sense. It allows us to print and mail your recipient copies the very next day. It'll also then file all federal and state 1099s that are applicable. You have the opportunity to purchase a flash drive which contains your PDF archive that you can store off-site or in a fire safe. Uh, you do have access to a history file at any time, so you can choose to or not. 
This is simply a verification screen that allows you to select the states that you want to file. You may have multiple states. Make certain that you're filing for all of them. This is a screen that tells you exactly what Atrix is going to do for you. In this case, we're going to file the 1099 miss, the 1096, the North Dakota uh, reconciliation form, and 1099s. And then we give you the opportunity to print the payer 1099 miss. This will have a watermark on it, so it can't be used to mail to uh, anyone, but it does allow you to keep one for filing. Once you've selected your level of service and gone through the checklist, you'll now have the opportunity to review the actual forms as they will be delivered. The first one is the North Dakota 1099 miss. This is a state copy that will be filed on a four-up form to the state. Once you've reviewed that, you can review each and every one of them if you wish, or if you just simply want to make sure the form looks correct, uh, this is your opportunity. You do have the opportunity to print, again, each of those copies if you want. They will have a watermark, however. Next is the Federal 1099 Miss. This is a two-up form. This is the Federal 1096. It's a single-page form. You can review your totals one last time. This is the North Dakota 1096. Again, each state reconciliation form will be available for review if you're filing in multiple states. And then these are the payer 1099 miscellaneous copy. This is the payer 1099 miss, again available to review. Once you've reviewed all of your forms, you'll then be presented with a login screen for the Atrix file system. You'll use the one that you created during the enrollment process. We'll confirm your enrollment information uh, again, this is simply so that you know that you're filing for the correct company. It will upload your file, present you with the cost of your filing. In this case, since I only had three people, this is a minimum fee. But this will tell you exactly what your filing will cost. You can then choose submission dates and mailing dates for your copies. One last confirmation that will show you again the company name, the information that you have given us for mailing, and the price of the filing. Once you submit it, you will receive an AFID number. Pretty clever. It's an Atrix filing identification number. It's an important number because you'll need it if you call our support group. All of your filing information can be tracked at efile.atrix.com, the same place that you enrolled when you started this process. And that will give you complete information on the filing itself, when it has been processed, you can access uh, mail tracking for each individual 1099. All of this can be done again at efile.atrix.com. Your AFID number has been emailed to you and your filing is now complete. That's just how simple it is to complete your 1099 e-filing using the Atrix Preparer.